Yeah. We usually we usually start with the definition, uh, but I'm curious for scientific purposes, you know, how many variations or categories of love have we established? But, but before before I get my science people to weigh in on that, Lena, it is my understanding that you speak Greek. Yes, I and do. And much like the Inuit folks have multiple words for snow, I'm told uh, in Greek. There are multiple words for love. Is that right? Did it correct? Did I get that right? Now there's there's discrepancy whether it's seven or eight. I believe it's okay. eight, um, but you have to kind of combine what is um, ancient Greek philosophy. You know, Plato and Aristotle all have their philosophical beliefs, which tend to play true. And um, yeah, we love a lot, we Greek people. And, and it's, it's <laughs> my favorite, and we'll get into all of them. I mean, I could tell you, my favorite is philotimi, philia, mm -hmm. friendship. The love of friendship, there, there's, there's a reason all the Greeks went into the hospitality business. They all own restaurants and they, when you go to the, there are many beautiful countries, but people love to go to Greece because there's this love of life and this love of, of it's bigger than empathy. It, it, there is another word for empathy, um, but this one is friendship that is not about anything but loving and lifting people. And oh, it's mm. a way of life for us. It can sometimes be overwhelming because, mm. you know, we don't have one family member. We have about 375,000 family members because once they become friends, strangers become friends. Philia, Philiti, Philotimi, um, Agapi, Eros. Eros is the love, Erota. Erota, everything in Greek, it sounds scary, like even Kanakarides. You look at it and you're like, oh my God, there's so many letters. But it, it literally, there are no silent letters. It, it's exactly as it's spelled. So when you hear Erota, Erota is the love, the romantic sexual love. That's the love for Valentine's Day. Um, it's it. actually really appropriate you're doing love for Thanksgiving because the philotimi, the philia, is all about what Thanksgiving is. We're bringing in people, like my husband says, I collect, I collect people. Well, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, yeah. So that's so appropriate with philia. Then you get into other ones. There's mania, like love that's gotten so crazy that, you know, it goes the wrong way. Um, mm. Then there's like the older ones, the ancient love, storyi, which is more the love of family, um, how you feel about your your family, your familial love. And then there's um, ludis, ludus, which is basically like uh, a crush, a kid having a crush on somebody, that sort of delicious feeling of really loving something for that moment. And then 30 mm. seconds later, it's like, yeah, it's okay. Um, you know, having raised two daughters who are still in the process because, yeah, there's a lot of that. Um, and then pragma, which is more of a uh, enduring love. That's the love that's been around for years and years and years. And it's come to like an understanding, um, you know, and then my one of my other ones is uh, Plato had uh, platia, which is more of like a platonic love. Um, uh, self-love or Aristotle actually it was Aristotle Plato's was oh no uh, Agape Agape's my the, the main one and Agape is just that's the empathetic love we love for strangers we love everyone and then the last one is self-love which uh, Aristotle said that if we can't um, in order to love others we have to love ourselves first it's a reflection of our own love and that was also really big in the middle school years because you know i would be like that girl's mean because she's unhappy inside she doesn't love herself you know just turn off the yeah. noise and have fun so anyway yeah i talk too much the professionals need to talk <laughs>